Hey guys and gals, Homestead Prepper. Okay, I want to share with you a uh, walk-in greenhouse that I uh, picked up uh, at an Aldi. Uh, my wife and I were in Weaverville, North Carolina the other day, and she spied this, and it was uh, $50, you know. And I thought it was a smoking deal. Uh, I, there's no way, guys, I could go up to Home Depot, Lowe's, or anywhere and construct that right there for $50. I mean, unless you got everything reclaimed. but. It was only took a few minutes to put it together, and let's let's take a look at it. And I've got the door rolled up, and you can see in here. I, I need to throw some mulch down there and pull those uh, grass weeds out. But uh, this is going to work for seed starting. Now, is uh, is this thing going to last? You know, a hundred years? No. Are you going to be able to park your F-350 or your one-ton diesel truck on those racks right there? No. But um, it is going to let me get some seeds started, and uh, you can actually get quite a few plants started in even a small greenhouse like that. And then it is uh, movable. I'm, I might even uh, want to buy another one. But um, I wanted to say that if you live in a condo or you live in an apartment, you're limited on room. If you have a balcony, this is going to fit up there. And there's no reason why you couldn't have a small garden in the greenhouse growing some type of vegetables uh, right there in a limited area. Um, I also wanted to throw out guys that uh, I had a friend years ago, uh, he has since passed away, he lived in St. Petersburg, he didn't have much of a yard, and what he did is he started his seeds and then he, uh, the company that he worked for had some property and he kind of did like some covert gardening, which might be an option for some people, I'm just you know throwing that out there, in a survival situation you might consider it, but um, anyway this, this greenhouse I think is going to work for me. But uh, I also wanted to show you, um, I'm kind of a little bit behind on my gardening. Um, my, uh, the PTO on my tractor is broke. I have to take that apart and see what's going on with it. But this is uh, a raised bed garden that you can do here. It's just quick, fast, and in a hurry. And those are uh, cherry tomatoes, beefsteak tomatoes, more cherry tomatoes, autumn squash, and spaghetti squash is what we got going right there. Um, I use the dump trailer here to uh, to bring that stuff in. That's some mulch. I need to throw that down there in the bottom of this uh, this little greenhouse here. I need to pull those weeds out and stop that from taking over because there'll be big, huge there'll, there'll be trees growing inside that if you uh, if you let it go, uh, especially here in Florida. But um, anyway, guys, I just want to show this to you. Now you can always add raised beds to this, but you know, if you're like me, I'm kind of lacking on time. I'm really busy. I don't have time for a lot of stuff, but this is going to at least get me started. And this right here is going to uh, add a new dimension. I can really get a lot of seeds started in that thing right there. So, all right, well, I just wanted to share that with you. And this is the Homestead Prepper out. Oh, I also wanted to add that, uh, it kind of looks like uh, when you throw the door down, it kind of looks like a portage on, which uh, might bode well in an SHTF situation.